Hell, today I'm going to show you how to change your key bindings in the game called Heartland. So just give a dog. I bought the game at uh, March the 1st, 2016. There wasn't really much content at the point, and then I was really struggling hard with my uh, with the key bindings because there was no in-game options. For the keybinds to reassign. The controller didn't work properly for me. I'm not a controller guy, I'm not a consoler guy. My problem was with the game that um, I have an Azerti keyboard and you cannot change the key bindings from the menu. It's not functional yet. So we're two years after the release, the release of early access and there are still no key binding options in the menu. Which in my case kind of killed the game because it's kind of unplayable if I have to stress my fingers in that way. So I figured out how to change the controls on on this thing. Ta -ta. I have it on a separate solid state Steam library. Here we go. Ta -ta. Here we have Heartland Coffee. The default input is the one we need. You best make a copy of this one there we go that's your backup now and this one we want to add it in my case I don't want to change a lot of keys I just want to change to be able to walk in a forward direction and walk to the left because the Z and the Q QWERTY, AZERTY are issues in my case. For me, the Z and the Q are important. If you scroll down here, you will get to a section where it states player. In this section, if you read it, you can eventually find move forward, move backward, move left, and move right. Now the move forward is for me an issue because it's now bound to the W, it needs to be bound to the Z. Here you go, on the keyboard, it's the W. I want to change that to the Z. Next one I want to change is move left, because in a QWERTY keyboard, uh, the A is there. For me, the Q should be left. So here the keyboard, I must change this one to Q. Now you would say, cool, file, save, play. No, the game doesn't start, because what we did now, we reassigned Z and Q. But these keys are already bound to another function in game. So we need to figure out which keys are at this moment bound to these ones. And we need to change them. Going to the top. Setting my cursor right at the beginning. Control F. And I want to search for the capital Z. It's not case sensitive, but hey. Find X. Debug menu Z. Let's see. A. Ah. This one is also bound to the Z, so this one we will make W in my case. Now the next one we want to find is the Q, because we also changed the Q. That one will, will be changed to the A. You will learn how to read these lines pretty quick. Ah, here it's stated to the Q. This one I will change to A, yes, here we go, that's the one. Weapon sheeting toggle. This one will set to A. I'm thinking if you only change the player part, it would be enough. You don't need to change anything here. Because the first time I did it, I didn't change anything here and it worked. Quickly go over it again. Player part in the default input document in the config folder in your Heartland directory. I changed move forward from W to Z. And I changed move left from A to Q. What's important for uh, the player is in my case also this one I needed to change from Q because I used Q here. I needed to change it to A. File, save, close, start freaking heartland. For me this was pretty big, I couldn't find any decent explanation of how to change, the, uh, change it. I just started clicking around within my uh, within the config files and checked it out myself. So. 
perfect. This is very much playable for me. A sheets or unsheets the weapon as it should be. Q for me is going to the left, Z is going to the front, D and S, nothing changed, and all the rest stayed as it say uh stayed as it was, so I the inventory, J the journal, M I could change maybe. But it's playable now, I can move as it should. So I will be checking out this game, I just wanted to show you quickly how I changed the key bindings in Heartland. If it's still as low on content as it was, then I should go through it pretty quickly. If not, we'll see. So for now peeps, I hope this helps someone out, maybe discover a game which they previously couldn't and have a lot of fun in it, I hope. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank <music> you.